I'm just a man who is blessed and privileged to stop in this country for such a time as this. When I first came to New Zealand, I thought this was paradise. Then got out to some of the most impoverished communities and saw the difference between the have and the have nots and decided I wanted to do something about it. We have segregations of communities and that affects the education that you receive and therefore your life. We have a physical zone. If you live within that zone, then you have an automatic right to come to grammar. I decided I need to create a home that will give kids the best possible opportunity. Berkeley University granted you the scholarship. Really? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly would have no idea where I'd be if it wasn't for them. When I look at the city of Chicago now, I feel I need to jump in. End zone, Chicago. 100 kids, four houses across the city. Are you really ready for the challenge? A lot of shootings and drug dealing. This is the alley where they put me down on my knees with the gun in my mouth. It's a big step, but I can guarantee you that at the end of it, it will change your life. They're not graduating and they don't see beyond what their parents have done. I see cycles of that. If what we're doing is not working, then we should do something else. I believe our boys and girls carry some of the solutions that the world is looking for. I'm going to live my life to make the biggest difference that's within my capacity. In New Zealand, there's a term, fuckafanungatunga. <laughs> it means to journey life together. 